morning good morning it's saturday and i am off to pick up my friend emma and we are going for a little tool up um, over the border we're jumping the border fence today no passport needed um don't know why she agreed to come for a walk with me after what i did were a few weeks ago uh, do you want to go for a walk to scotland em um? yeah that'll be lovely 96 mile later oh yeah so we are not doing a long 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 trail this time we are going up to selkirk um, which is about an hour and a bit from me and we are going to check out the three brethren so ta-ta for now and i'll catch you all later the weather is crap by the way like really crap <laughs> Philipov Car Park, take the Moffat Road from the centre of Selkirk. When it joins the A707, go straight across Upper Drive for 600 metres to reach the parking area. There's nothing as fine as an autumn day, with the smell in the air of fresh mown hay. Each tree is a wonder of beauty untold, each leaf brushed with colour a sight to behold. There's a nip in the air, crisp, cool and clear, to remind us that winter will soon be here. But for now we have autumn, the show off of seasons, my favourite by far, and those are the reasons. Head up the track past the information board signed Corby Lane and the Three Brethren. When it forks, keep on the main left branch, keeping the woodland on your right at first. Later there are good views down to the burn, down a ravine on the left, with glimpses of an attractive waterfall, the Corby Lane. Further on the track forks, turn right here to head gently uphill and keep right again at the next fork. We did a boo-boo and we ended up going through the cow field, but it still brought us to the reservoir. The path up to the Brett Three Brethren goes up behind the reservoir in between Peat Law and Falshields Hill. You can actually do a whole show of all three of these, so go from Peat Law up to the Three Brethren and back around Falshields Hill. The now grassy track climbs gently across the right hand slope of the valley and soon there is the first view of the Three Brethren Cairns ahead. When the main track turns right and climbs steeply, leave it and instead take a path that continues directly ahead, aiming towards the Cairns. The path is a little eroded in place and soon becomes a track itself before arriving at the Cairns. The Cairns stand three metres high and they were built in the 1500s to mark the meeting of the estate lands belonging to the Lairds of Selkirk, Philippoff and Yare. Today they are a popular objective for walkers and are on the route of the Southern Upland Way from Trakar to Melrose. Despite the modest altitude, they command a magnificent view over this part of the borders, with range after range of rolling hills receding into the distance. Most distinctive is the outline of the Eildon Hills to the east, three summits of volcanic origin which appear quite out of character. I've no idea why, but I did feel the need to hug the stones. The Three Brethren in all their glory. So we are up on the Three Brethren and we can see Chivia. Hills over towards St Mary's Lock 
and Grey Mare's Tail. And then this is on the Southern Upland Way, which goes from west to east and ends up at the Berkshire Coast in Coburn's Path. I'll have to check where it starts. There's the sign from the Southern Upland Way. There's an Emma. <laughs> Wow, it's amazing. And then over here, da -da -da, is the Eildon Hills at Melrose, which I've done. We've both done those. And back down here, this is the way we came up. It's just a stunning up here. Stunning. So, the three brethren are they were boundary markers where the three boundaries of Selkirk Yeah Y A I R I'm gonna have to check so the boundary it. markers that's what it is for the Yeah Yeah estate the Selkirk Brough and the Buckle Buckluff Buckluff estate and they were where the three estates join on the top of this hill. Oh, it's amazing. So that over there is where you go next to Carfrey Mill. The wind turbines. And it's cleared up. I'll show you over here. Three sixty views on top of a hill that is four hundred and sixty two meters, and you get all of this. March, March, Ettrick and Teviotdale, why the deal denny march forward in order. March, March, Eskdale and Liddesdale, all the blue bonnets are bound for the border. Many a banner spread, flutters above your head. Many a crest that is famous in story, mount and make ready then. Sons of the mountain glen, fight for the Queen and your old Scottish glory. Come from the hills where your hirsels are grazing. Come from the glen of the buck and the roe. Come to the crag where the beacon is blazing. Come with the buckler, the lance and the bow. Trumpets are sounding, war steeds are bounding. Stand to the arms then and march in good order. England shall many a day tell of the bloody fray when the blue bonnets came over the border.
just stunning. Views are incredible. Um, I'm looking at, there's a crescent moon up there. It's just very autumnal and just beautiful. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. Thoroughly enjoying it. There she is up there. Look at the blue sky. Oh, I just, lo I've loved it up here. Definitely gonna come back again. We're gonna nip into Selkirk now and get some maps and stuff because the vastness of this, these hills around here, around Selkirk and Melrose, and you can see right up onto the Moffat Hills. It's just absolutely breathtaking. So we're definitely gonna come and have a little visit. Um, I know they do the boundary rides here where they come all on the horses and the ride around the boundaries. So that would be worth a visit. And Selkirk's just beautiful. There's a lot of history up on these border towns. So yeah, um, definitely worth a visit for sure. And that three brethren is just stunning. And it's just cleared up beautifully. Just love, love, loving it. Couldn't have picked a better day considering it started off at home. Crap. Sirens call you found a loss. How do I break down these walls? I try to hold on to memories we had. So many faces they wrote in my head. When night has come. back down now to the car park which is a free car park which is good no fee all free so yeah that was a lovely walk really really enjoyed it there is a little map so you come up through Selkirk past the rugby club and turn left as if you're going to met St Mary's Lock and then it's the first right off the road and basically just over the river so uh, I'll just show you there you come along the main road next to Ettrick Water and you park at Corby Lane and it's called Philip Hoff Car Park and this is where we started and then we came up there up there up there and then we sort of went up there and all the way up da -da, to three brethren and back down again lovely jubbly I try to hold on to memories we had so many faces they wrote in my head when night has come Sweet. 